Good day, today I'm talking about the nesting box spinners which were supplied by Jaguar to the XK120 up to the Jaguar E-Type up to November 61. Particularity is that uh, the AF box spinners were center marked as you can see here and this is the size 7 16 by one and a half AF and you see the small the small um, inch inch marking here and uh, and whereas the um, later one 62 onwards they had the sizes written on the flat ends on, on both sides which you don't have here another thing we noting is that uh, the um, the box banners had some grinding marks round here so when the hole were drilled you had to grate which had to be come off otherwise they wouldn't fit in in the larger size so this is a mint original small five inch long box spanner the second one in row is the um, is is six inch long and this has the sizes nine sixteenths by five eighths also af same marking for the for the inch sign is here and you see the surface is not totally smooth it is it has markings and that is that is how you distinguish from the reproduction this also has grinding marks here and this is even more as they are so neat and tight that if they were not hand corrected they didn't nest also here the ends this is how they look they are massive solid very heavy duty and they shouldn't break whereas the reproduction are probably milder steel and and just and just less valuable and heavy as these. The uh, the largest one has the is three quarters of an inch and seven eighths. Same same size, same font, same everything. But um, so that is um, same grinding marks here again. And this is the largest of the three. And here is a complete set, which is um, nesting here. Smallest one is in there. You turn around and this is how it looks very neat not much of a slack of play when you when you shake them there's no noise or very little and the reproduction are not as tight as these again here you have the um, the grinding marks around the holes and this is how you slip them out so this is one the other one and this is how tight they are you need to knock them and then they come out but they are really really narrow and tight and what you see here is also this is a blue shine you see that when the light is shining on there this is a blue shine this is an early early one this is the one which is used for the xk120 later ones xk150 and um, an eta were dark they were black so this is how you distinguish but these are all original surface one unmolested and um, all almost the same lettering here's one unusual thing this is an original but it happened that some of these had a different font or writing setup this is known but that is original uh, i only found these on the on the on the on the smallest but that is how they are and um the other thing these are the um the um the early taper tommy bars uh, what they what they used to is they, they come through here and this, and this is how it works they go straight through there's very little play and um, but still shouldn't be used as the the tommy bar can bend or the holes can can open and this is so this is a mint perfect one and you will find box spinners with an oval oblong hole but that is um well, that is um, used, heavily used. And this dark one is for the E-Type or the XK140. And the blank ones were used on the early XK120 up to, I think, late XK140. So I hope this helps. Make sure you get what, what you want. Get some details, pictures from the supplier. And uh, it, it is more than, than a couple of pounds you're paying. And you should really get the originals unless... Pay less for the reproduction as they are not worth as much as these are. They are not as good as these. And these are 70 years old and they are still in perfect condition. So I hope this helps and um, see you soon again.